We're going to first go over what comes in this mousetrap car kit from White Box Learning. We're going to open it up here. Let's go over all of the parts. First thing we have are chassis rails. There's actually three of them in here, but we really will end up only needing two of them. So these are going to be the sides, side rails of the car. Okay, so it'll end up looking something like that. Okay, of course, if you have an axle, you'll notice that the axle here is solid. This is important because the axle is going to be attached to the wheels. It is going to be the solid piece of aluminum that you have. And for that, you will need snips like this to cut it. Okay, so this is going to be for your axle. Next, you have another piece of aluminum in here, and this one is hollow. It's got a hole in it, uh, all the way through it, and this is for the lever arm. So this is going to attach to the mouse trap. So you'll need to slide a piece of the mouse trap into here and crimp it down. So that's why it's important to know. Also, you will use a pipe cutter to cut this. Can you get a pipe cutter over there? So I can just show. It's in one of the boxes there. Okay. So pipe cutter looks like this, and you'll actually measure it, put it in here. It's important not to use a pipe cutter on the solid uh, aluminum. Okay. All right. Then we have our mouse trap. We will have to convert the mouse trap into something that we can use for the mouse trap car, and we'll go over that in another video. You have a straw. And if you've already done the design on your car, you'll know that the straw is to put around, like a sleeve, like a bearing around the axle. That'll help reduce the amount of friction. Okay, we have wheels. These are our rear racer wheels. These guys, and you see they're a lot thicker. And you've got your front racer wheels. Okay. All right. And then... We have a little piece of wire that we're going to use that will attach to the rear axle and you'll use this to create a hook for your string to attach to when you wind it around your wheels. So this is a little piece of wire here. You also have a few other parts. You have uh, a couple of spools so you can change the diameter of your axle if you need to. Um, you have this little plastic screw. This is for a modification that's in the instructions. So if you're going to do that, you'll see that in the instructions. Most uh, people will not use that as a modification. Then you have a few little washers in here. And these washers are going to go uh, on the inside in between your wheel and your straw so that it doesn't bind up. And then the last thing is you have two rubber bands. And these rubber bands are to put on these back wheels so you get some traction instead of just spinning out on a smooth surface. And that's it.